delighted to be joined today with Jess Gargan of Shelburne. Thanks a for joining me, Jess. Um, I know you are probably in full prep mode for your game, uh, but firstly, how have those preparations been going so far? Yeah, all good. Um, we came over here yesterday, long day traveling. I think we, we met at Dublin Airport about seven o'clock in the morning and didn't get here until Irish time it was about quarter past six. Um, so for somewhere that's not far away, it's awkward to get. So it was a long day. Um, so it was nice to get a sleep last night. And then today was kind of just as I was saying today, going for a walk, a quick team meeting. We've training now this afternoon, but um, preparations have been going good. I think it's like this just being mid-season, I think is a good preparation in itself. You just you have games every week. You've, you're training three nights a week. So, um, yeah, it's been going good. And I think it's it hasn't been like a massive build up to it. So like in terms of because you have games every week that keeps you going and then next of all, the Champions League. So it just kind of came about. So it's good in that way. You don't you know, you, you're not getting too nervous on the build up because you're kind of focusing on a weekly basis. And then now we're here now. So all focus turns to this. So, yeah, we're excited. Brilliant. And, you know, I heard uh, the weather is a bit hot over there how have you how have you found the weather yeah it's very hot it's, i think it's like really mid 30s degrees at this point but um it is hot and now in fairness it's the same degrees for every team obviously they're a bit more used to it and um, but for ourselves yeah it's just about you know being hydrated we're training now tonight at about half five which is the same time as the game tomorrow so hopefully that'll help us a bit but yeah it's just kind of staying in our rooms resting up eating enough and getting enough water on board and i guess Try not to worry about it too much. Yes, it's going to be hot. We all know that. But just, as I say, give it our all for the 90 plus minutes and, and see how it gets us. And, you know, this season in the Women's National League, Shells as a team, you he's, he's have put in like some fantastic performances. Um, and now with the Champions League, you know, you're kind of representing the WNL and you're representing women's football in Ireland uh, in a way. Do you kind of feel that pressure at all or is it kind of something that you would enjoy? It's something we enjoy, absolutely. And I think we've deserved to get to this point. And as you're saying there, it's not just about representing Shells, it's about representing the league. So, um, yeah, I think we're all excited about it. Yeah, there's obviously going to be nerves. I think if you're not nervous, there's something wrong. Like it is, it's one of the biggest games we're all going to play. And like for myself and a lot of the others, it's the first time being in the Champions League. So with that comes a little bit of nerves, but I think they can work in a good way too. So we're all kind of buzzing to get going. And um, yeah, and I say we do have the support from the league as well, which is great. Yeah, and you know, I know it's only the beginning of Shell's Champions League journey this season, but you know, you've players in the squad who have played Champions League games before. Have they kind of been giving you any advice about leading up to the games or anything, anything like that? Yeah, the same kind of like they were saying, don't think about it too much. As I said, like you're playing in the league every week, just take it week by week. But like that, um, we don't. One thing that's different is obviously you're playing the same teams in the league three times a year at least, with the cup nearly four times for every team. So you kind of know who you're coming up against. Like as a right back, I know who I'm playing against left wing, left wing every game. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You know, sometimes it can be better not knowing who you're coming up against. But yeah, the girls are just saying, as I say, kind of prepare the same way you would for the league and um, don't get too nervous about it but yeah the older girls who have been there and even some of the younger girls and um, they're, they're are helping us along the way absolutely yeah yeah and you know you yourself have been in flying form uh this season so far for shells and a pivotal player in the squad um is there anything that you yourself have been doing in order to prep for the game um, no, keeping it the same, really. Um, I think this season and last season, I think I've been just enjoying it more than ever. And I think that's I think it's helping me why I'm, I am in form. Uh, playing under Noel King has really brought me on as a player. And not that, like, you know, I've done anything different in the last two years than I've done before. But I think something for me, which is massive in the last two years, is confidence. Um, as I said, Noel is very positive uh, for all of us. He always tells us, you know, you're going to make mistakes um, but it's how you react to them. It's if, if you're not making mistakes, you're not really doing much. So definitely a different environment to how I had been playing in previous to him. So uh, I think that's helped me massively. And the biggest thing for myself is enjoying it. And, you know, not overthinking things. I think in the past you overthink about who's watching the game. I need to play well because this person's going to be here. But nowadays I'm just kind of going out. Shells is that focus and just playing each game as it comes. But um, preparation wise, no, everything's the same. Just making sure any. any I'm drinking, staying in from the sun and getting enough sleep as well. So, yeah, everything's the same. Yeah. And, you know, I think to win the league that is the way that you did last season, last last game of the season, um, to become WNL champions, to get that Champions League place. And now the time has finally come to play that first kind of league Champions League game. Um, what are your thoughts kind of going into it now? Yeah, you're right. Like last year, actually, when we did win it on the last day, like we were all in shock. Like it was... 
bad night and like I don't think it really actually even I don't even think it registered with us that Champions League like we were just so shocked to win the league it was only the next day or day after we were like well we're actually going to the Champions League <laughs> So uh, it's a big achievement. But yeah, um, in terms of going forward, as I say, we don't know a whole lot about the team, but uh, we're having a team meeting tonight. So we'll go through a bit of video on the team. They're obviously going to be good. I think any team in the Champions League is going to be good. So we're all expecting a tough game. It's not going to be a walkover. And we'll probably be, they're probably more favoured to win than we are, which is fine. Kind of keeps the pressure off ourselves. But it's just about, I think, leaving it all on the pitch. Um, as I say, you only get to do it. Uh, one team from the league at the moment only get to do it. So it's representing the club, representing the league, but making sure we give it our all, like leave with no regrets. And I think that can sometimes, you know, you play a game and it's like the weeks later, you're thinking, Jesus, we should have done this, we should have done this. Like, just don't think about anything else. Don't think about the heat. Just give it your all and go from there. And as I say, leave with no regrets. And hopefully that, that gets us over the line. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks for joining me, Jess. Now you're fine. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Uh, taking the time to speak to me today and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.